Hi everyone, in this uh, video we are going to see how you can uh, define a uh, custom dimension within a goal within Mat More Analytics. So, in fact, the thing to know is like custom dimensions can be assigned to goal but only if only if it's at the visit level. So the typical use case um, that I have for myself is about attribution. If you would like to have a custom dimension in which there are conversions which are happening during the visit and you would like to clearly say who is responsible for the attribution, let's say the sales. So uh, what we're going to do is like we are going to uh, create it. So I'm just going to create a brand new one. So I go over here in tags. I'm going to delete this one. OK, so I create my new tag. That's going to be a manual uh, one. So I go over here, I go in goals. Um, I create it. I'm going to just call it like uh, not really attribution, but let's say like goal sheet. Goal, goal achieved. It's going to be a manual goal. Okay, so it's going to carry a value. Um, going to say multiple per visit. So that's the number two. Then I go over here in the tag manager. Uh, by the way, in the meantime, I want to create a custom dimension which is going to store the given value. So I go over here. As I say, it's at the visit level and not at the action level. Currently, it doesn't work for the action level. So we're going to call it like attribution, just activated it. So it's going to carry the value, which is the number three. So then I can finally go within the tag manager. I can then create my tag. So we say the goal was the number two. Then the variable is in fact, uh, so here it's uh, index we say it's number three i can put any value that i want over here the id for me for the attribution will be to potentially read a cookie and get the refer value but here i'm just gonna say just like uh refer the new one <coughs> just for the sake of the example so in this example i'm trying to show you that it's gonna work at the visit scope level for a goal so uh, here it's a goal. We said it was the goal number two. The revenue we don't care. Let's say here. Um, and dealing with the trigger, we can look for. Um, let's go for window leaf. Okay. So I create the tag and now I. I flush it. Okay, I'm going to take. This page on which. I have installed uh, the, the tracker. So normally what is happening here is like if I look at the console network, I should normally see. OK. OK, you see, so matumo.php id goal, uh, id site track. If I look at this request over here, I will see that there is a dimension three which is sent with uh, the goal achieved, which was the window live. And as a result, if I look now at my data within Matomo, um, so. So which one is it? Uh, okay, so probably it has been assigned with this one. Uh, attribution refer dummy one. Okay. And now what's gonna happen is like if I create a custom report. So I can basically call it attribution two in my case. Um, so that's going to be at the visitor level. I have something which is named attribution. Uh, attribution. Attribution. 
uh, the goal is the goal number two, goal achieved number two. And then I can get my report, you see, with the number of times that this given goal has been achieved. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.